Welcome to the Best Of, where we handpick a few outstanding performances from the careers of your favourite movie stars. Actor, writer and director Ben Affleck has gone from indie darling to handsome leading man to award-winning filmmaker. But which of his many varied performances are his top three? In the early 90s, Ben and his childhood friend Matt Damon moved to Los Angeles to pursue their dream of being actors. Though they landed some small parts, the two friends were determined to create their own opportunities and co-wrote the script for Good Will Hunting, in which they would also star alongside comic legend Robin Williams. So, uh, I'll see you soon. Yeah, Bill. Thanks for coming by this. Gotta <laughs> change my opinion on people. Well, don't rush to judgment, dude, because they're not all as nice as me. The Labour of Love was a huge success and earned the two struggling actors a Golden Globe and an Oscar for Best Original Screenplay. Such a dream come true that it's it's almost hard to imagine it's actually real. It's a very strange thing. The, the script was written out of out of frustration. Uh, ben and I couldn't get arrested, you know, let alone get a job. So we very much. Uh, uh, wanted to do this movie and, uh, and, and play these parts. Fast forward to 2010, Affleck is now making his own feature films, first 2007's Gone Baby Gone, and now the crime drama The Town. He's also starting to develop some themes in his body of work. I think there are probably similarities thematically between um, Gone Baby Gone and, and, and Good Will Hunting and this movie. Um, chief among them, this idea that, uh, you know, where we grow up really has a lot to do with shaping who we become and the difficulty in escaping that and the tension between those two things. Stay right where you are, it's almost over. The film about a bank robber and the FBI agent chasing him also starred Jeremy Renner, John Hamm and Chris Cooper. Hey, I gotta die five times before I get out of here. But um, I'll see you again in this side or the other. Uh, most of directing, I think, is casting. And when you, when you, um, I did one thing right, which was I cast the right people. And when you hire actors as good as this, you don't really do a lot of, you know, directing. The success of his first two projects sent Affleck straight into producing his third movie as a director, 2012's Argo, the true story of a CIA agent played by Ben, assigned to rescue six American citizens from Iran in 1980 by posing as a Hollywood producer. If I got lucky in the first two, this was the lottery. Ceremonies in two weeks from today. And they push it a week. It's a year's winter break. Tell me, the op was classified, so the ceremony is classified. He's a terrific director. You know, I was going to say that you know, for an actor turned director, he's phenomenal. But I don't, I don't want to preface it with that anymore. He's, he's an, a director in his own right, and a, a, a wonderful one as well. Margot was nominated for no less than seven Academy Awards, winning three for Best Editing, Best Screenplay, and biggest trophy of them all, Best Picture. Ben accepted the award with his fellow producers, Grant Heslov and George Clooney. You know what? I, you're not entitled to anything. Uh, I was, I'm honored to be here. I'm honored to be among these extraordinary movies, and I'm really, really honored to win an Academy Award. Ben Affleck is one of Hollywood's biggest stars and best directors. We have no doubt that he'll be bringing amazing stories to the big screen for a long time to come.